you had a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for clicking into my video and for joining me, friends. Welcome. Hashtag Team Allblade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Squad goals, seriously. Hashtag Team Effort. Squad, we did it. We made it to day 29. We're on the last two days of Lather Games. It has been so much fun. It has been absolutely um, remarkable having everybody here. The enthusiasm, the positivity, the love, the support. Guys, you guys are awesome. All I can say is I could not ask for a better team cheering me on as we've marched through day one to 28 of the Lather Games. Guys, if this is the first time you're seeing this and you're like, this soupy guy, what is going on? Guys, we've been doing this challenge over on Reddit. It's 30 consecutive days of different um, theme challenge shaves, okay? They're theme challenge. They have different quirks to each day. And it's been a huge challenge. It's taken me and a bunch of other people to getting together, really putting our heads together to make it happen. And I'm absolutely thrilled to say we did not drop any points but our shave at and straight points, guys. We're gonna miss like three point or three half of a point or whatever. We're missing three shaves, guys, of straight razors because I do my dome and I'm not doing it with a normal straight. So we're just gonna miss a little bit of points. But other than that, we have not missed a theme. We have not missed a day and we've filmed every single day. And honestly, you guys have made that possible, right? You being here, you give me the support, give me the thumbs, going below, smashing the sub button for me, getting us up to the almost thousand mark. All of this, guys, has happened because you've been here regularly. So Thank you so much. Again, holy crow, guys. That's crap and cow. Put together, holy crow, Twizzler-tastic, snickerdoodle-licious, guys. We did it. Thank you again. Oh, what a challenge. What an event. And what a what, what an experience, right? It's been an experience. Guys, today we have one. The challenge for today is using something that is smelly like wood. Smelly like wood. And to me, we're using chiseled hound. This are uh, chiseled face. And this is cedar and spice, guys. This is a scent for me that kind of reminds me of like what you uh, put in your closet to make moths not eat your clothes. It smells like, you know, like the those little cedar planks that you put in. Or maybe like a salmon board that you 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 uh, use to roast salmon like in a little uh, uh, smoker. Kind of reminds me of that. The cedar for me. Cedar is a weird smell. I, we use it in a lot of different things that are not shave related or like clothing related, right? Not fashion related. We use it in like cooking and we use it in like our closet. So for me, this smells very like familiar, but not like I would expect for a shaving item. We're using Nor'easter on top of that, guys. This is a beautiful mentholated uh, uh, fragrance. A beautiful, very, very nice. It's uh, definitely got some like some notes to it that make it smell clean, slightly aquatic. But I almost get like like, like a, some kind of like woody tone to this. I don't know what is in Nor'easter. I'll have to look this up. I'll have the notes below. But it's like got this really nice woody tone that, that matches the aquatic. And we're going on top of that, guys, with PAA. This is Future Fiction. This is my favorite scent from PAA, if you guys are curious. Favorite scent. Beautiful scent. Love it. It's sporty. It reminds me of a younger cologne, like a younger person's cologne. And we're going to be using the PAA Scuttle, guys. We've already got it lathered up. You can see it's on my head. The soap was awesome today from Ch um, Chiseled Face. Really, really, really nice. Beautiful. Man, what an awesome base. I love this Chiseled Face stuff. It really works for me every single time. And we're using my Buddy John's rubber set guys i have never used a rubber set before in my life i've never picked one up even so this is the first time ever guys ever and john said we can use it because it's a special occasion he's letting me use it for this special occasion end of the lather games here is what it did guys here is and you guys this is soap i know some of you are like no way chiseled and hound or chiseled face what come on man yeah look at this it is very thick, very hydrated, and it was super easy to work with using John's beautiful rubber set, guys. Oh, look at this thing. Stunning brush, guys. Really, really, really stunning brush. Beautiful. I mean, it's light. It, what they don't tell you when you're looking at these on eBay listings is it's an aluminum handle, guys. It is very light, and it's very, very agile when you're um, lathering. Really nice. It's so much fun to play with, guys. So much fun. John, thank you again. Shout out to John for letting me use the rubber set for the today's shave, for today's special shape. I'm really excited about it. Okay, guys. We're using, keep in mind, we are trying to get some extra points at the end of this lather game, trying to accumulate as much as we can. We're using the Crisscross Cross Rhodes Razor, guys. This is the Rhodes Crisscross Cross Razor. I've got a DE blade loaded up here. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that in the Subi hat cam. It's gonna be somewhere over here. Not really sure, it's gonna be popping up. And guys, the Subi hat cam angle, you'll see, I go through two different load formats. I go through one where I put two blades stacked together and then crisscross, right? Because it's the Crisscross Cross Rhodes, we intertwine the blades together with this blade. 
And with this, this shim, I removed like only a little bit of the blade and it's a lot larger. And then what I do is I, I take that out and I use a thinner shim. Depending on how big the shim is that you guys use in the Chris Ross Rose Razor is how efficient it's really going to be. So that's like how much blade is exposed. You're really modular, you know, mo uh, modulating the blade exposure based on the backer that you install. Guys, you can see the, the blade slides right in. It is very nice. I'm today we're using some Lab Blue Persona Lab Blues, guys. Really nice blades. Really cool razor. And why we're using this today? Because, guys, I don't have lots of shavettes, but this razor can essentially be a shavette, right? There you go, that is shavette mail with the crisscross. And you guys can see when we flipped it, our blade did not lose or change exposure. And that's really important, and that means that our hack is safe, guys. And that's why I like that hack, is it is a safe hack. We're going to do some passes today, like this. Like, like this. Very weird, very strange feeling. Um, to try to get some extra points, I do not shave at my head ever, guys. That is the first swipe I have ever done on my head with a shavette. This is strange. You guys have told me several times, we want to see Subi use a shavette on his head. There you guys go, shave it on the dome. Weird as crying, weird as crying going on the off side like this. But the shave, but the um, Rhodes crisscross razor kind of does the work for you because it has that angle built in, which is really nice. And this is using, again, two stack DE blades. I would be here all day. I won't even lie to you guys. I would be here all day trying to get the right angle and do it fast and speedy. We're going to flip it around here, guys. We're going to grab our razor and we're going to flip it over and go do the other side here. Go do the other side. I'm going to just make sure that everything is tight because it looks wacky to me. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is so weird. You guys are sadists that pull this off on the daily, man. This is so weird. I'm so happy to be doing it with, uh, weird, with, uh, um, <laughs> with the crisscross, guys. As you can see, this is not my usual. You guys are like, is he going to fall over? Is he stunned? What is happening? Yeah, guys, this is not my normal for me. This is definitely a first time experience and uh, a little terrifying. I can do my face with it. I can do my face really well with it. But this for me, yeah, this definitely is some strangeness. I definitely will be using the sh uh, shave that part for my face, but I don't know if I'll continue using it like this on my head, guys, I'm gonna be really honest. So what you can do now is you just flip it over, right? For the uh, technical, the <laughs> I recommend using a towel for this part. That's why things got messed up. I use a towel, guys. I just flip it around like this. And then you won't mess up your blade. If you if you try to grab it from the back side, what ends up happening is you lift up on the back of the side and you can move the blade. Okay, we didn't move the blade though. We're good. But you can move it if you're grabbing here and you're pressing and spinning. You can actually move your blade. You don't want that nonsense. Um, Got to make sure it's all straightened up. So Rhodes is really known, guys, for being able to go with the head crooked. That was really what they were known for, is being able to have the head being crooked. Actually, we did a pretty good job. That shaved really nicely, actually. It shaved really smooth, and it did not cut me. So that was a good trainer tool, right? You can see, if I had enough time, if I had all the time in the world today to sit there and do that, we could definitely shave our head that way. And like I said, I will be shaving my face with the shave at mode. But for today, we're gonna do this. We're gonna finish it up like this today and show you guys just how awesome this real little razor is. I, I think it's like a cheat code, honestly, for shave at, um, shavers, because you can shave with it with a DE blade, just loaded right into it, right? And, and, and get an awesome shave. And then if you wanna get experimental with it, you can flip it over and try it in shave at mode and try to you know challenge yourself and learn a new skill. I think that's cool. I like that. I really like this little razor. That's really fun. This is one of my razors, guys, that I absolutely love. This is one of those weird ones that it will never leave my dead. I absolutely love this razor. I'm actually considering tracking down the other two because they had two other versions that the backs were different. One wasn't circular, one was a V. And then they have another one, guys. It's a little bit more rare that I've always seen one uh, one rendition of that had a different handle. It didn't have this straight cut handle, guys. These are like from the 30s. And the one I saw was, I think, from the 20s. It had a different knurled handle, which I thought was really cool. So I'd like to track all three down. I think that would be fun. And it's a razor that I really enjoy. It's a good shaver. 
Now, here's the thing, because I was doing some reading and some research, because these do not get used all the time, right? Because they did use a proprietary blade. And up until I started messing around with these things, there wasn't a lot of people playing around with non-proprietary blade razors, right? They just didn't get all the love, which I think is sad. So I use them a lot, right, on the channel. I like that. And um, there was a person that was putting a DE blade in them, and what they said is that they got movement and problems because they didn't figure out the intertwining trick, right? They weren't adding a backside of it. So it wasn't nice and flush. And when we've added that back side of it, guys, it makes it so safe. It means it's not gonna move around on you. It means you can switch the shavette mode and not have it fall apart. And look at how it shaves, guys. Look at, I'm gonna try to show you guys this. The lather runs into the back of the razor here. <laughs> you guys can see the lather, it's very hydrated today. It runs into the back of the, um, the razor into this little lather catcher area really cool right isn't that awesome look at you can just see now here's one gross thing i'm gonna put it out there is because all the lather runs into the back side of the head getting it clean was um it took forever guys i had pipe cleaners i was ultrasonicing between pipe cleaners trying to get underneath the mechanism that holds the blade because it is just pressure that holds everything together really cool though once it was all cleaned and ready to run this is a razor that i just really get good shaves with from the 30s era, right? This one's from, for sure, from the 30s. The patent mark's like 1923. So, I mean, it's, or 1920, let me see here, 1920 something, something or other. It's, uh, 19, 26. So, 26 is the patent mark. I'm sure this is a 30s model. It's also chrome, which, you know, would have made it probably upper 30s. Really nice shaving razor. I love the roads. The crisscross razor, man, it's fun. It's enjoyable to use. And there's times in your life where you're just like, I want a fun razor, right? I want to shave with something that's kind of unique and fun. These are easy to find. If you just go on eBay, guys, and type in crisscross, you'll find 10 of these razors. And what you need to know is the head can pivot and it does swivel. And you'll see people that are like selling them like broken razor, heads crooked. <laughs> That's the one I bought, guys. Somebody had it listed as a broken, crooked headed razor. It was five bucks and they're like, broken, crooked head. And I was like, nice. That must be a crisscross roads. Nice. And I looked at the pictures and I'm like, yeah, I can fix that up and get it clean and it will readjust. I think it was so jam full of gunk, guys, because that can happen. Get so jam full of gunk that it will no longer um, sway side to side. And I think that's all that had happened. And I just really like the way he shaves. Really nice. Look at this. Look at how he shaves. Very, very efficient while still being uh, mild. And keep in mind, I am using a Persona Lab Blues. And I get just absolutely stupid close shaves with this razor. Stupid close. Really nice. Very cool razor. Very fun. I, th I just love that. And then today I was sitting there, right, on my couch. And I was like... What razor can I use to really take us off, right? What's the razor I want to use today to um, say, you know, thank you so much and make it, you know, what's a Subi razor? What can definitely qualify as a Subi razor these last couple days? And today, this is the one that popped into my mind. I was like, it's perfect. It is a Subi razor. I have not seen a lot of them used. It does have a Subi hack to it. And we can flip it around and use it in shavette mode for at least a couple swipes and count some points. And count some points, guys. Love that. Kind of like an ace in the hole kind of razor. Really awesome shaver. Really fun, especially if you're trying to learn the art of, like you said, like I said, like I showed got here, is the art of, um, in, of shavette shaving and have very little skills, right? It is a little short on the handle. That's probably my only complaint when you're trying to learn the art of shavettes. On my face, though, it fits really good. It's a really nice, easy, and forgiving razor because you're adjusting exposure. You can kind of make it as wild, as mild as you want. And I love that about that razor. Look at this, guys. That is the shave of shaves. I do kind of smell like those weird things you put on your clothes to avoid having uh, your clothes eaten by moths. It's kind of weird. Cedar has some weird, like, scent, like, uh... I have some weird associations with cedar scent, guys. Some weird associations. That's a strange, I'm like... Yeah, I smell it. Sorry, guys. This is a weird transition. I know my software that films, it absolutely overheated and it had to be stuck in the fridge, if you can believe that. It's like, cannot film too hot. Everything went black and turned off. So I stuck everything in the fridge and guys, we are back up and running. So thank you again for being here for that awesome shave. We're using, uh, like I said, chiseled face, cedar spice, the cedar, and it was really nice. I do think it's kind of weird that it reminds me of like clothing. For some reason, cedar always does. 
but it's a really nice shave. We're going on top of that with Nor'easter that's got like amber and berry from Captain's Choice, guys. Right on top of that right here. It's a very nice, strong, clean scent. It reminds me of soap. The amber inside of the berry, guys, they mix together. And it's a very clean smelling soap scent. And then we're going on top of that with uh, PAA's um, Future Fiction, guys. Very clean, very prominent, very complete, uh, complex scent. This right here is a younger scent for me, and it's my favorite scent from PAA. It's his own unique one, right? He does some fun dupes, but this right here is my favorite unique PAA scent next to um, the Java Hive. I really like Java Hive too. Guys, awesome shave. Really great shave with the crisscross Rhodes razor. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for joining me with it. I, add, I just can't thank you guys enough. It's been such a fun journey. I love these kind of uh, opportunities where it kind of pushes us, pushes us outside the box and forces us to grow as a team. Been awesome. You guys are the best squad I could have ever asked for. Again, we are on day 29. We're moving into the 38 days. It's been wild, guys. And honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. Thanks so much for joining me. Soobs out.